Hello and welcome to the Touring Car Challenge. We are doing Nick's time slot again. I'm very excited to uh, have had the chance this time again to uh, show up. Oh man, that was a bad jump. I've been practicing my jumps. Uh, we do have Gavin in here though. It seems like we got into top split and I think Nick just barely missed out or something. I've been practicing my jumps, so I want to get this right. A little better. I spent a lot of practice just practicing my jumps because, uh... Hold on, let me get my volume. Sorry, man. I've been getting the volume all messed up lately. I need to find a consistent spot for it. But, uh... I think I actually have speed in a touring car for once. Because it's Laguna Seca, and I love Laguna Seca. And it's actually looking pretty good. I'm gonna be cautiously optimistic because... Um, I got the second fastest... Oh, I don't want to ship there. Uh, I got the second fastest time in the open practice, but the top guy was a full second faster. So what does that mean? I don't know. It probably means that six numbers ahead of me are uh, going to be a lot faster, if I had to guess. But I did a practice race before this. Uh, I've kind of gotten in the habit of doing that to prepare for these uh, special time slot races. And I actually finished fourth in that, which I believe is my best touring car finish yet. And that was awesome. I got a couple freebies, but uh, I was feeling actually pretty fast. And that was awesome. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to this. This should be pretty fun. It's always fun at Laguna Seca anyway. And uh, if I can actually be competitive... Green flag, green flag. I'm feeling pretty good. Should be a good, fun time. The weird warm-up lap. I was kind of okay, just uh, <laughs> trying to get the tires warmer. But, uh, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Gotta be kind of patient on the throttle. Um, I've been learning the, the quirks of this vehicle a little bit. And uh, I've been, I actually put my brake bias back, which is something a little new. I think I've done it a little bit before, but got it quite a few ticks back. I think I have it at, uh, let's see if I can find it here. Let me not mess up my lap, though. Uh, 45.1, you see there. So I got it a little farther back, and it's helping me pitch it a little bit. Do a lot of these corners, and that's really helping out to get the uh, uh, the car angled where I want it to be. And uh, you know, get through these corners. It is tougher at first here, whenever the tires are. Still colder, so I'm not too concerned that my speed's a little off. Although I should have been able to handle it a little, handle it a little bit better than what I have here. Then again, I'm almost, I'm also trying to be a little bit safe, so I don't just uh, crash it during qualifying. So I uh, have this lap to fall back on, thankfully. Let's see if we can get anything else. Ooh. Okay, that was not good. What was that? <laughs> I think I should have stayed on the brakes a little longer. It's what I messed up there. I fully expect to make some mistakes during the race. Um, once the race brain kicks in and... You know, things happen. <laughs> uh oh I try to minimize them, try to be patient, try to be smart. Last uh, last week, I ran into trouble when I was side by side with someone. And that's what got me off course. So, I'm going to try to do a little bit better with that. Going through the course grew a little fast right now. I mean, that's, that sounds kind of dumb. I mean, I'm not breaking. Uh, soon enough. 
I'm just driving too fast, you know? Just too fast. <laughs> but, uh, you know what I mean? Not the best qualifying effort. Would have liked to do a little bit better. Let's see. Session best lap. Well, it's a tiny bit better than last lap, but not much. I'm actually going to stay out here a little longer, if it'll let me. Practice just a little bit more. Because it's it's really uh it's really been rhythm based for me. Like once I get into my groove, I can kind of get it. But uh, I'm gonna keep shifting. I know better than to shift there. See that I'm already falling apart. <laughs> but uh, we got six. Oh, Gavin, right behind us. Very similar lap. It looks like. And he might still have another one to go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Getting off the track. Let me not get uh, incident points here. Uh, I really like my road safety rating to look a little better. Right now I'm a class A and I'm in the twos. 2.7, I think, something like that. And, uh... I'd like that to be a little bit better. It's because I do a lot of these rookie races, and I'll get maybe like a 3x over the course of a race from off tracks or something, Like, and I'll still consider that a good race, but that'll still cause me to lose safety rating because the races are, are so short uh, for those rookie races. So I think it's kind of messing with my number a little bit. Maybe, maybe that's not why. Maybe I just need to be safer and stop going off the track. That's probably what I need to do. But, uh, regardless of the reasoning, point is, I'd like to be a little bit better. Safety rating matters more to me than uh, I rating and all that. Just because I feel like I want to be seen as a clean racer. And uh, it's not that I'm worried about losing a license or something, but rather I want to uh, feel confident that I'm clean competitor. And I like having that visual indication that I do my best to avoid incidents. That's the end of the session. Alright. So, where did we end up? We ended up 7th, so we're exactly our car number. Gavin's right behind us. Just a tiny, tiny bit back there. He almost tied with the 17. <laughs> so, alright. Yeah, like these guys up here, they're like they're a full second faster. I don't know. I don't know how they're doing that. I don't know. They're just like leaping off of the corkscrew or something, but <laughs> they're just ramping off the top and going down. I don't, I don't know. I really hope my practice has paid off with these launches because my launches have been so bad, so bad. So I'm gonna hope and get off the grid a little bit better this time. That sure would be nice. We'll see how it goes. You can only go as fast as the people in front of me anyway. The air but, uh, is I want to be Fahrenheit. holding the people behind me. Watch for the lights. Green, 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 green. Here we go. That was a good launch, but I'm stuck behind this guy. Car on. Clear. Okay. Right side. Still there. Very Still close there. right now. Very tense. Clear on the right. Right side. Clear on the right. Stuck there a little bit. It's fine. That guy's off. Okay, Colton. Decent start. We can build something from here. Left side. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Still there, hold your line. Stuck behind this guy Clear. really bad. Left side. I don't know why this guy's diving in in the most stupid the spot. Right. Well, you really thought Clear. you were gonna make a pass there? Clear on the left. This spot's barely wide enough for one person. Left side. This moron. Still there, hold your line. 
you there. Clear. Passing the corkscrew. Get out of here. Thank you for the access. Forget my safety rating, I guess. And it somehow changed to a 4x eventually, so that's fantastic. Whatever. Just trying to survive here. People just being absolutely ridiculous. Watch out for He wants to ask what the problem is. He's diving in on the first lap on a course crew. No patience whatsoever. Hopefully we can get this figured out now. Gavin had a better start, where I think, didn't he? Isn't he up there somewhere? <laughs> Kinda lost track of everything with how crazy that was, but... Karma! Uh, here we go passing again through here. Just go. Jesus Christ. I hate how impatient people are. Okay, Gavin has not had a good time, because he's not in front of us. I don't know what happened to him, but it uh, wasn't good whatever happened, unfortunately. I thought he was ahead of us, because I thought he made it, had a better go of it at the start than we did. Maybe he got knocked off or something. I don't know. Pushed off the track. Who knows? That's not how you take that corner. Pardon me. Keep to the left. Just done it. 132.02. So this guy Stay on the left. aggressively passes us, and now he's going to be making mistakes in front of us and slowing us both down. Keep so. to the left. That's cool. That's cool. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Car right. Uh. Still there. Clear on the right. Jesus. Shifted at the spot I'm not supposed to again. This guy's annoying me a lot. Hell! Jesus Christ! I left the whole right side of the track open. Coming over here. <sighs> you know, races would be better if there weren't other cars. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Let's have to go back to qualifying where things were safe. So we've only moved backwards. Okay, Colton. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. That's not good. The start was good, though. I actually did get a good jump off the start. I just got stuck behind people. Keep searching. You'll find a gap. Which, that one's pretty good. <laughs> There's Gavin back there in 14th. We got Joe behind us too. He's also part of the community here. That's cool. We always end up seeming to be around each other. <laughs> no matter uh, how the race goes, that's kind of funny how that works. Why am I not taking it? Delayed 
leader has just done it. I always stink whenever it's time, it's time for the race. Like, look how far off I am from my best time. As soon as I hit the race, I just, I forget how to drive. right on our tail. So we'll keep an eye out for him. I don't think I've hit this cur this turn all race. This kern. What's a kern? I think I've made that flow before. I think I've said kern. Why am I this way? Let's get a good corkscrew this time. Okay. All right. Am I getting into a rhythm finally? Really? Someone really in. I know what it's about. They're ahead of us, though, I think. Maybe not. Time was I thought I saw something happen ahead and I thought it corresponded with the chat message. Voice chat. Alright, hmm. turn your darn car. I've been messing up that corner every time too. Couldn't tell you why. What am I doing? Like they look like they're almost side by side going through the court script here. That might be interesting. I wish I could tell what I do differently during practice and what I do differently during the race when it comes to it. So that way I could know what to fix. I wonder if all time opt would be more useful to me. I'll see how that looks. It'll make me feel really, really slow, but. <laughs> I think Joe might be faster than me. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. P12. Huh. Just, I feel like I can do so much better. I really do. Yeah, gotta be able to do it. I guess it's uh, unreasonable to expect myself to run good practice laps when I'm running around other drivers. Got other things to think about. And I'm still doing better than I normally do in the touring cars, so. That guy's a little off course. I pulled it together a little bit there. Pulled away from Joe a little bit. You've just done a 132.83. Mmm, I 
was a good corner until I hit that curb and then it messed me up a little bit, but it worse. Kind of reached a little bit of a group here. I don't know how I'm going to pass, though. I don't know if that's even going to be a thing, but... I think I need to be arcing into the corners more. I think that might be part of my problem. stuck back here and now Joe's caught up again. They're kind of stacked up on each other. That's not doing us any favors. So now we might have to watch out for him again behind us. Top 10 would be cool, but that might be a little unrealistic right now. What's this dude doing? Why is he going so slow through the quarter screw? Why was he like flashing his tail lights? What are you doing? Just drive. I don't know what he's trying to signal me or something. Like, do something. Drive. me up. Well, they're going to have to crash if we want the top 10. So let's uh, just make sure we are not the crash. Oh good, I over overdrove turn, uh, turn 1. That's fantastic. That's what I wanted. Just gotta stay smooth. Okay, I got in the dirt a little bit. For a second he was going for that. That would have been a good idea. about to try to pass in the corkscrew, not even on the last lap. Oh, we almost passed people, but then almost got passed at the last turn. P12. Okay, we're done. All right, there's ticket flag. Woo! Bring well, we survived. We're going. We got our 12th. That's something. All right, pull over. And jump out. And did it freeze? Oh, whoa, that was weird. All right. 
so not that great. I really thought I could do better. We just got so destroyed at the start. People are just crazy. Uh, I guess it's alright. Hmm. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed. I'm gonna say good race to Joe. Yeah, that last corner. That was kind of crazy. So, uh, let's see the incidents then. Uh, five for, our, for us. A little bit too more, too much. Four of them was from the one... I don't know, I don't even know why we got it, but... From the one thing. See, we got a good jump for once, and then we just got stuck behind this person, and I was... Negated it. Should I have gone around to his right side? I don't like being that aggressive. I should have. <sighs> I guess I should have. It's just like, you don't know how much room you have. I didn't really want to be three wide going into turn one. I mean, the two people that passed us, we still got past, so maybe it was smarter to do the way I did it. I don't know. Just kind of a little bit. Oh, excuse me. I started the season for last year. I didn't. Uh, I didn't see what happened to him. I guess uh, let's back to lap zero. Maybe we will see it. I don't know if he means the launch or if like. Uh, or if stuff happened in turn one and two and all that. Oh my gosh, that guy took that guy out so bad. Wow, he was not making that corner whatsoever. Spot to go here. Do do do. Finish him. So we got a little bit of a bump through the corkscrew. I was revving a neutral in our game. <laughs> <clears throat> is that blink out or is that it? That's it? There's no way! Come on, that's not it. I know we ran into someone at least for once. For one time. Yeah, 132.6 was my best lap, and that's uh, not quite what I my best is. That's like a whole half second slower than my best lap, so I don't know. Uh, I guess that's it. I kind of want to see more of what happened here at the start and everything. I mean, we're just getting... Getting destroyed. Like, I might as well have qualified, like, 14th. <laughs> yeah, this uh, mic, I got stuck behind. So we lose two spots right there off the launch. They go three wide, which allows us to sneak through on the low side. 
So those two spots really didn't end up mattering too much, except this yellow car still is on the inside of us, so that compromises our, uh, our next turn. I just missed it. That's all that was. That guy's patient with us. I appreciate that. That guy gets pushed off. That's the guy that got the slow start. Uh, stuck in outside here. I think I feel like I did that a little bit better that time though. And then, as usual, getting stuck behind someone. And you got guys going side by side. This guy sends it in. Oh no, was it my fault that Gavin went off? I had to break like that, going side by side. Or else I wasn't going to make the corner. Oh man, I hope I didn't ruin Gavin's race. I didn't notice that when it happened. Because it's just like, I got stuck behind the guy, the yellow car here, because he goes off track a little bit, or like slows down to avoid it, and then I have to slow down because I didn't have enough room to go to the inside. So Gavin catches me from behind, and then that guy's taking me too wide. He's getting a push. I don't know, that's tough. I hope that wasn't on me. I don't know. I don't think I over I hit the brakes too hard. This is the this is what somehow gave us a 4x, I think. Like, first of all, why are you going side by side through the corkscrew? Second of all, get out of my lane. So it gives us a 4x from that? Why? That's what gave us the 4x, right? I don't understand that. But uh, I guess that's uh, all we got. All I have to show, I'm just slow the rest of the race pretty much, but uh, oh well, I'm glad I was able to participate, it's too bad Nick could not make it, he got the split below us, I believe, but uh, we got the race with Gavin, even though he kind of went off and it might have been my fault maybe, I'm not sure, <laughs> we'll hear what he says in his video I'm sure, and I got the race with Joe, we had an interesting last corner, yeah let's check out the last corner, there's something we can do. So these guys go side by side and it makes them go real slow and actually get into each other, that's right. And so I kind of cut lower. And not quite enough. How did Joe get through there so quick? Oh, he did that really well. Taking the very wide entra entrance and then keeping it extra low on exit. He kind of like did what I tried to do, but better, I think. <laughs> yeah, and we just didn't have enough speed to get it done, but uh, alright. I wish that went a little bit better. I got fourth in the last race, and I ended up 12th in this one. Big part of it getting stuck behind guys at the start, and uh, various points throughout the race. I just wasn't as quick this time. I don't know. But I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Um, plenty more good racing to do this week, I think. Lots of places I want to visit. So I uh, hope you stay tuned. And I hope you have a good one. Thanks.